To Greenbrier County, the patriotic spirit is still alive and well in the Mountain State as the Alderson's 63rd annual 4th of July celebration continues for the sixth day. Our Clayton McChesney stopped by to see the celebration tradition and a friendly competition. The 4th of July has long been a big event for Alderson, with the celebration first being held in 1919 and then picking up again in the 60s thanks to the Alderson 4th of July committee. We spoke to an organizer from the committee who says, with multiple days of celebration, this is always a popular event with the Alderson locals. I think the tradition of doing something with your family every year and just having that hometown feel of a festival that you know you're going to have every single year. You're going to have a, one of the biggest parades in West Virginia, one of the best fireworks displays. And it's not just all one thing. There's multiple things for people to choose from to go to. One of those things is the annual river events a water race that lets both kids and adults join in on the competition. Kirby says this has been a popular event since they first added it to the schedule in the 80s, with more than 200 competitors this year. We spoke to one young competitor who has been coming to this event for more than a decade, and it seems that experience has paid off in a first place ribbon. It's super fun. People who love to get in the water during the summer, this is a great way to just have fun and spend time with people, have a little competition, but still have fun at the same time. Kirby credits the longevity of Alderson's 4th of July celebration to the many volunteers who made it happen. If you would like to learn more about how you can volunteer or would like more information about next year's celebration, he says you can go to the Alderson 4th website to learn more. Here for you in Alderson, I'm Clayton McChesney, WVA News. Thanks, Clayton. If you missed this event, it's not too late to take part. They will still have music and inflatables tonight until 10 p.m., and tomorrow they will have a rubber duck race to raise money for their annual celebration and potentially earn some Lucky Duck $5,000.